All right. On our way to Dr. Ground's Where mansion. To? Drive. I'll tell you when the mood hits me. You. What are you doing here? I might ask you the same thing. No. That really wasn't a yes or no question. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. Maybe for you, but... Huh? Well... Can I... Ah, there we go. Hi there. Okay. <sighs> Let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Oh. <laughs> Another unfortunate casualty to Tide of Time, insane asylums. I lament their loss not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels, the odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humors, that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams, the muttered cursing of perceived enemies, and the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized, like a newborn babe discovering the sky. <sighs> I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. Okay, can't go up there. <laughs> Perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time. Perception, mind, time. Time, perception, mind. Mind, perception, time, mind. <laughs> Perception, mind, time. Uh, time, perception, mind. Mind, perception, time, mind. I do not know what I'm... Well, I know that I'm supposed to do something with these three candles. Okay, they're all off. What does that thistle do? Increases defense by one point. Good! Perception. 
Perception mind time. There! Okay, so that unlocked that. It is quite peculiar, the happenings I have been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking upon unfortunate phenomenon in particular, of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the morals of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology have slowly disappeared. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical components of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old guard has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent no, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident there we are. no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my dreams. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay on my course. In time, too, may your thoughts will disappear. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview, a few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end that dawn. Of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. Animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. He must be making an atrocious mess of her. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. <laughs> Come on. Ah, uh, 
Really. chick sounds like she's gone to the dentist and has, like, a water pick or something in her mouth. Same place. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means mine alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism, which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a third fault for its strictures. Indeed, they seem impressed with my studies and the evidence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the king's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things. I believe I shall accept it. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. Okay. I have accepted the role Chaos, of Chaos, like the mind, can be understood only from the sign of the order, however. The dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer. So named for some supposed vampire father figure of old. More poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn to children's tales in the fiction of Victorian romance, when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter. For I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, no, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. Why does this room exist? Terrell Fang. Decreases your chip. Ooh, that's useful.
Hmm. All right, now that door is open. The red room. The red room is back here somewhere. Into the inner sanctum. As I expand my dealings with the vampire government, I have encountered a disturbing new symptom of this affliction. Frequently, in conversation, I will hear voices emanating from other vampires, voices that are not their own, but which seem to have insight into their lives beyond what I could gather from simple conversation. These voices seem to echo from deep within my fellow vampires, and I cannot be certain that this simply belongs to my strange realness. Your voices are very I dare not mention this symptom to my vampiric peers, for they have proven themselves true predators to whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of weakness. Indeed, these voices have counseled me against confessing their presence until I can confirm their source. The information that the voices have given me ranges from curious The latter case is especially true of one powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording in the interests of... laboratory refrigerator key. It's great that these keys all have labels so that I can easily find what I'm looking for. Ah, Elder Vitae. I have enough blood already, but that Elder blood should be useful. Is this the way I meant to I went already? It is. Whoops. It's so hard to tell. This house is so goddamn confusing. Into the depths I go. This hurts my eyes. 
normally all the time. Okay, so that was a secret passage. Would have been useful before, but I didn't know about it. In here. Voices have increased in frequency and direction of late. They have begun to stay with me long after conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction. I fear others are beginning to notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I am thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. One more, I think. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices have proven themselves authentic, and I have withdrawn from the Vampire Society entirely. My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers. Especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain, but I had to, for their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out at me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows it, I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved wife. Her cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. 
The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche. Dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all of this. Hmm. Oh look, it's his wife. Time. It's like a little museum. I'm just glad he didn't turn into Mr. Freeze. Now to find out what this grout guy is really up to. What just happened? Grout's dead. Grout's dead! Who the hell are you? Grout is dead? Pity it could not be by my hand. No matter. Soon your self-made kings and false prophets and all who bear the mark of the beast will be washed from the earth for the coming of the Lord! Wait, wait, wait. Let's discuss this. Bury your native tongue in the pits of the abyss. I will not hear it anymore! As you burn, tell them it was Grünfeld Bach who sent your damned soul to that lake of fire. All agents of Satan shall return to whence they came. Let this righteous display serve as a promise to all who serve the arch fiend Lakoi. I'm coming for you, Lakoi. By the power of the Lord, I will cleanse your black soul. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Oh god, um, uh, shit! Okay, gotta run. Maybe this way? Um, gotta get out, 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 gotta get out. Oh, oh god damn it! Get, get away! was a misadventure. I don't smell anything. <laughs> I've got an appointment with LaCroix. Uh, sure, I'll open her up for you. Jeez, <sighs> I could go for one of them double space burgers with the onions and the cheese and some bacon and a guacamole. Ooh.
The Primogen still haven't been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you are not supposed to come back until we had heard from him. First of all, Grout no longer exists. Grout's dead? What? Yeah. And this guy, Bach, set his house on fire. Nearly killed me. Bach! Every time I think he's lost the scent. So, Bach killed Grout to draw me out. Seemed like Grout was already dead when he arrived. Bach is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. But like many mortals, their so-called faith is nothing but a conduit through which they quench their killing urge. Who else would have killed Grout? On the way in, I saw Nines Rodriguez leaving the mansion. Look at me. Are you sure it was Nines Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Do you really have any idea? I'm positive it was Nines. This may mean war with the Anarchs, is that right? It means... Under most circumstances, I would call a blood hunt on the murderer immediately. However, the Anarchs of this city may interpret such an action to be a declaration of war. I do not want a war with them. This decision will take some time. I need to confer with the Primogen on this. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus, and I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants of this city, we need to place the sarcophagus under Camarilla protection until its contents can be confirmed. You're becoming quite indispensable to me. So, out of all my available personnel, I'm going to entrust the retrieval of the sarcophagus to you. It was quietly delivered to the Museum of Natural History a few hours ago. But I just got back. Let me finish. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it was listed as missing. Keep an eye open for it. It may have been overlooked. It's crucial we get the sarcophagus in our possession within the next few hours. All these tasks have left me a little short on cash. Yes, of course. Uh, here. I can't have one of my representatives running around ill-equipped for that task. So what do I do now? Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. Mortals are just as easy to deceive as they are to kill. Alright. Keep the keys. I'm going in topside. But I had a few questions first. One or two, but that's all. How does Bach know you? My history with that family dates back to Bach's grandfather, who pursued me into Africa, where I killed him. Bach's father tracked me to London to meet his death. And now Bach and the Society of Leopold have followed me across America. They never learn. The Society of Leopold? Witch hunters. An anachronistic holdover from the Middle Ages. They are inquisitors whose fanaticism has convinced them that their triumph over the supernatural will save mankind and secure them a cushy spot in heaven. I have to get prepared for the museum. There is a degree of immediacy attached to this task. Work fast. And, as on the Dane, you are not to open the Ankaran sarcophagus for any reason. Excuse me. Okay. Alright, before I go get the... On Karin's sarcophagus. I need to go and heal myself up because all that fire f fucking hurt. Okay, what am I good at now? Oh. I have better persuasion now. Need a ride? Alright. Let's see if I can get some healing. Oh, so beautiful ghoul of mine.
Oh, hey, you. You know what? I don't need it. That homeless guy just picked me right up. Nothing like the homeless to get you going, eh? Host of local cable show Haunted LA and his crew are reported missing tonight. The team of the popular supernatural themed program were filming around Finally, downtown Los back. Angeles, according to I the show's producer. But you. friends and family of the crew started to worry when they failed to return from a night How of shooting. No trace has been but found yet now. of the Haunted LA team, so and rumors by the show's fans speculate the crew met a supernatural end. Calm down. Disagree, and have started a sweep Here, of the areas the where the internal. crew was filming. Simon Milligan, forever host of local yours. cable show Haunted LA, <gasps> and his crew are reported missing tonight. The it's team of the popular healing. supernatural themed program it's, were filming around downtown Los Angeles, according to the show's love. producer. But friends and family of the crew started oh, to worry when they failed to return from a night of shooting. You. No trace has been found yet of the haunted LA team. And I and rumors you, by the I show's did. fans speculate I the crew met a supernatural end, though police today. disagree, Here. and have started a sweep of the areas money. where the crew was filming. A massive gelatinous creature that launched up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads, found by a jogger on a Tuesday too. morning who says he you smelled know. it a mile so away. The mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus, though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. When you put it that they way. speculate that it could be from a Thanks. yet undiscovered I could family use a of sea creatures. Octopus. A tourist bus more, destined you know? for the ancient when city of Angkor Wat that failed to return Wednesday night was found this morning, Good. I'll be back though without any trace of its operator or passengers. Cambodian officials have dispatched several military units into oh, the area email. to search through the surrounding jungle, and it's concerned that it is related to one Bishop of the number of southeastern Asian terrorist organizations based in the region. All right, I think I'm starting to get the chess metaphor. The king is the prince, the bishop is a primogen. So... Next time, I'll head to the museum to get the Ankaran sarcophagus, and perhaps to get a fetish as well. Not that I need a fetish, I already have plenty of those. Um, wait. Anyway.